incredibly fantastic. Joyfully alluring. The, the sight and the height of glamour. Catch the views. Draw the emotion. On, on AKBC Channel 45. At, at Finder AM45, making your Monday morning worthwhile. Beautiful people of Aquaibum, happy, um, you will not call it resurrection morning, happy Easter. I know you had a beautiful weekend. My name is Inyo Dubon and this is another beautiful segment in Pathfinder. I'm sure you had a beautiful weekend like I did. Talking about Christ being the reason for the season. In this segment, it's a special interview with um, Ambassador Franklin Richards. He is a native of Bielsa State. He is also the Nigerian representative for World Humanity Commission. He also is the African Director, United Nations Pageant, and currently the Director in SPA Nigerian Child Project. Mr. Franklin, or Ambassador Franklin, you're welcome <laughs> to the program. Thank you for having me. He's also a true Niger Delta. <laughs> true. All right. Um, how will I even start? How was your weekend? Um, it was okay. Very nice. Um, giving all glory back to God. It's Easter. And like you mentioned, it's the resurrection season. So we believe that everything we put our hands hands for is resurrected already. <laughs> right. Now I would like to say you've been in our state for a while. So yeah. how do you how would you say about the hospitality of the place, the cuisines? Have you have mm. you been initiated to mm. eating afang or yet? <laughs> afang. Afang. Afang, yeah. That happens to be my favorite. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even before I came to Aquaibo, I used to love Afang, Afang, Afang. So when I came in, I, 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 I'm, I'm leaving no stone on turn. <laughs> That's beautiful too. Yeah. Okay. Mm. How did you become an entertainer following the antecedents I just reeled out now? Um, yeah. Something that is in you is in you. Um, from the days of my childhood, I've I've loved to sing, I've loved to act, I've loved to do a lot of things. Um, while growing up, I just found myself um, doing each of these things and coordinating people. So basically, I think it started from way back, way back, way back. And um, at God will have it, at every level, God will show his favor. And I'm here today. And I discovered that most of the, ch the things you do, yeah. As far as entertainment is concerned, mm. it's tailored towards children. Why children? Hmm. While I was growing up, I had wanted to be uh, an evangelist. <laughs> In fact, those days, uh, in the service of God, I, I was a children um, pastor. They call me the kid pastor. I, I, I love ministry. But I think uh, um, as time goes on, I saw that the love I had for for younger folks, children, and when I was a teenager, I started a ministry, getting young people involved. And when I was growing, it kept coming, kept coming, and that's just my focus, young folks. So I, I think it's a ministry, it's a ministry. Okay. Yeah. Why are you in Aquaibom? You've been in my state for maybe about two months? Um, okay. Almost two mm -hmm. months. Yeah. Why are you um, First, we came in to, we run uh, the Inspire Nigerian Child Project. Uh, uh, we run conferences for, for schools within the Niger Delta region. Okay. So, um, 2020, we visited Aquaibom to host the maiden edition for Aquaibom State. And then um, I was held here by the COVID. So, that period, um, I used it to enjoy my stay in Aquaibom because I was in Aquaibom all through the COVID. Really? Yes, I, I stayed in the hotel for four months. And I saw that the people uh, the people were were nice, the hospitality was top notch. And maybe God was trying to show me something different. So after the conference finally last year, we we kicked on the 
the discover me project three talent on search that's the basic reason why i'm here now so that's why you're here yeah and what's your intent okay this cover me project three um is that that platform is an healthy competitive platform where we were able to to discover children who are skilled talented or blessed with any special gift okay. yeah so uh, we've been doing this project uh, from state to state and when Aquibom and I discovered that Aquibom had have lots of talented children okay. even before the project started I have I have been able to do some grand survey and I saw that uh, Aquibom young folks are extremely talented so this platform is to select or to discover kids who are talented residing in a quiet state okay i heard you say it's a competitive platform yes how do you intend to raise your winners all right it's uh, a competitive yes uh, first of all um we, we have lots of competitors a lot of children in the in the contest as of now um at first we were supposed to were supposed to maybe sell out the forms but at some point when i looked at the the love the the talent on ground and i feel that because it's the first time in the state a lot of families or parents or schools would not be able to embrace it that close so i decided to to do it complimentary and that way we got lots of um contestants we have a lot of contestants Currently, we're on, we're on camp, we're undergoing our camp activities, and um, we have different events lined up to to pick out our winners. Um, we had our, our press brief in uh, in February. We had our first audition, auditions on the 12th of March, and then uh, we started camp activities on the 2nd of April. Okay. Yeah, uh, so um, camp activities are still on, but we have uh, four major events to make up uh, our search. We have the Heroes Walk that is going to hold um, on the on the 20, 23rd year, on the 23rd of April at the Ebom Hall. Okay. Yeah, we also have... Uh, What's the Hero Walk about? Heroes Walk, um, that uh, particular project is uh, specially created to honor those persons um, living or dead who had contributed to the growth and development of our host states yeah so uh we know that for aquibum to be what it is today there are persons who had dedicated their time their resources some of them even aquibum might may not even know them so this heroes work platform is where these kids know that uh, we had this hero who did this did that did this did that and maybe he's named after a particular place or so the kids get to know historic things about their states okay so the kids what exactly will the kids be doing to they will be telling the story of the heroes or y yes how? yes they, they, okay yeah the kids will be okay most of the the assignment is to uncover these heroes Oh. Yes, most people do not know that a choir bomb has persons who did this, did that at the point of time. Yeah, but these kids, this platform, the kids, they they have given assignment to uncover um, heroes in various areas, people who had contributed to the growth and development of the state. Okay. So that will hold on the 20th. on the twenty third of uh, of April, and then um, on the thirtieth of April um, is the cultural day where we celebrate the heritage, the cultural heritage of Aquaibam State. Will you mix, will the children be cooking up for <laughs> <and Nikai? laughs> uh, I pray so. <laughs> I wish to taste uh, the Afang soup on that day, okay. if possible. Yeah, but uh, uh, we'll be celebrating our cultural heritage. How do you intend to celebrate the culture of Aquaibam people through children, talent discovery? Yeah, um, and we 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 are committed in um marketing our culture to the international community okay. our kids grow up um, um adopting the western culture a lot so what we're doing right now we're trying to see how we can infuse our heritage let them grow up knowing this the kind of food 
we eat from where i come from these are kind of language this is what we do these are attire no it helps it makes them to to be boastful of their of their culture wherever whatever platform that they find themselves okay so we celebrate them okay so having uh, mentioned these three events you said you have four yeah, yeah we have the yes we have the carnival the uh uh discovery project carnival coming up on the 14th of may okay. yeah on the 14th of may and then uh, finally we have the grand finale on children's day proper on the 27th may uh, we're going to be having um, the grand finale of Discover Me Project 3, Acquire Bomb State Invasion. Okay. Now, how do you intend, I think I asked the question, okay, how do we intend get to get raise the, yeah. the winners? Uh, like, do you have different categories? Yes, we, yes we have, uh, like I said, I mentioned that they are currently in camp. Okay. Yeah. And of course, because they are kids, we're not camping them in the place. We have days of camp activities. Okay. Now, we have resident judges. Who groom them, like who train them, coach them in the various talents that uh, we are working on on this particular edition. Okay. Now, so what these uh, judges do, they groom them, and then they are also judged in camp. And then during our life events, like these four major events I mentioned, they are judged based on their performances, what they've been taught. Yeah, we have uh, we've, we've array um, a means of calculating their scores and then by the grace of God by 27th May we'll have winners from we have um, three categories basically we have kids between the ages of four to seven they make up the little junior category okay we have kids between the ages of eight to eleven they make up the little senior category okay. and then we have um, teens between the ages of 12 to 17 okay. they make up the teen category Okay. Now, these kids are judged based on their age categories and the talent that they opt in for. Okay. Yeah. So, you're not judging a child that is four or five years old with a child that is 12 to 17 years old. Okay. Yeah. So, it was well structured. Okay. Yeah. So, what are those talents, basically, that you've seen in these kids this last um, period of time? All right. Um, we have great singers. We have, we have kids in the the music team oh. yeah we have um the acting as a drama team we have very good actors and actresses in aquaibom we have um, those in in the spoken words poem yeah oh, okay. that class is doing marvelously well we have pageantry where we're going to raise the um nkp little mr and mr aquaibom uh, nkp Miss and Teen Acquire Bomb. What do you mean by NKP? NKP is Nigerian Kids Pageant. Okay, okay. Nigerian Kids Pageant. Okay. Yes. So when you raise them up, what are those catchy? Um, do they have? Do they get to have grand prizes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, interestingly, interestingly, this is in um. Yes, all are. One interesting thing about this project is all the winners were raising really over twenty winners. Okay. in this in this season and then all winners have equal star price equal opportunity we don't have first second third okay. i think it's the first of its kind uh you're running the project we don't have a first place a second place or a third place okay every person that becomes a title holder in the contest um is seen as a winner and has equal price we have cash price for the winners we have consolation price also for all finalists we have um um uh, scholarship for them for a year oh. yes and uh, of course we have brand endorsement deals with some of uh, some so brands who are yeah who are supporting us yeah so all the winners will be one uh, brand ambassador to some of these kids friendly products okay yes they are working okay. with us already okay so now um, one last word what last word do you have for Aquibon parents with talented kids that did not find themselves in this project mm, good one i'll start by using um emmanuela samuel as a case study okay now why child going up yes yes, yes. emmanuel samuel the child comedian with the uh, mark angel uh, company now why going up um parents will always want us to be excellent in our academic works but then uh, most parents fail to see the other side of the coin that talent in today's society is something else okay. and i believe that if parents begin to understand that you can blend 
a child talent skill and gift with academic work you know that uh, the child would actually be the best because every child has a unique gift or skills god has deposited something in every child it is not for parents to give some of them know that these kids have something but they do not want to give these kids the platform or support to enable them to discover this talent so my words for uh for parents in acquire bomb state is simple be the first support system in discovering your child's potential just be the first person to discover that my child has this and take extra step forward by trying to enhance that gift or skills whatever platform that you think will enhance that gift and skill your child is blessed with don't withhold the opportunity try to see how your child can marry school work and mm. talent it works it can work if it works in advanced society it can also work here okay Emanuela is not out of school she's not school dropout she's still in school she's doing very well in school and then her talent is blessing the family mm. so let your child skill and talent be a blessing to your child's generation Thank you so much, um, Ambassador Franklin. Thank if you're you. just joining us, we're just uh, speaking with Ambassador Franklin. Um, happens to be the um, director of Inspire Nigerian Kids Project, and <clears throat> excuse me, he is here in our choir to discover talent. Um, for the first time, we're having um, a talent discovery of it this kind, where children get to. You know, we don't have a star prize for a star winner. We have 20 children coming out and being winners in the same, in different categories. And at the end of the day, the child's talent has been discovered. And whatever it is that will come out of it, we will see in the course to come. That's all we have for you on this segment. My name is Inyo Dubon Basi. All the segments of Pathfinder continues with Inyo and the rest of the crew. Please don't go away. Incredibly fantastic. Joyfully alluring. <laughs> the sight and the height of glamour. Catch the views. Draw the emotion. On, on AKBC Channel 45. At, at Finder AM45, making your Monday morning worthwhile.